back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I am feeling quite bubbly today, as you can tell, as always. I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's video. If you haven't seen it already, it will be linked down below. But also check it out because it would mean a lot. Um, there's kind of a new beginning to my channel, so you'll get what I mean if you watch the video. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm excited for because it has been recommended by a subscriber. So I wanted to do it for her, but also for anyone on my channel, anyone of my subscribers, sorry, that hopes or wants to start a YouTube channel but doesn't know where to start or doesn't really know what to do. Coming from a small YouTuber, me, and a small beginner, you know what I mean, I've been through that position and I've been through it so I kind of think I can give a bit of advice, any tips that I learn along my way to anyone else that is hoping to start their channel. I'm no expert, I'm no expert, but I do know a few things that I've learned along the way. So I want to share them for you guys, and I want to share them for anyone out there. I'm just going to get into it really, I've got a lot of points here, and I just may as well start because you know what I'm like rambling, and there's no need for it. So yeah. Number one, this is probably one of the most important points here, it's a camera. You obviously need a camera to film your videos, otherwise you're not really going to be getting anywhere and you need a camera. You don't need to get anything fancy. I use my iPhone 5S. I use the back camera just because my front camera is really bad. But you don't need to get anything special. Like to start off, you don't need to buy a good camera because they're so expensive and like it'd just be a waste of money. Like you just need to make do with what you've got. It's so important because I think loads of people get carried away and think they need to get high quality stuff. Yes, your videos need to eventually be good quality, but that's not always the point. You just need to make do with what you've got. So. 100% that. Number two is a good editing software or just the just an ordinary editing software that will do with what you've got to do. If you want to cut clips, add music, um, a little slight effects to start off with, that's fair enough. And I think the one editing software that I would really, really highly suggest that I started off with for ages was iMovie. iMovie is real. It really, really is good and um, it will do anything you want any simple things, anything to start off with on that. I used it up until about two months ago, or three months ago. Um, I now use Sony Movie Studio Platinum, something like that. It's a Sony one. Um, it's actually really good, it really is good, but I wouldn't have had it um, if I didn't have help off Jacob Hayes. So thanks Jacob. Um, yeah, he's one of my good friends that I've met. Anyway, honestly, you just need to get a good or just an editing software. So I'd highly suggest iMovie. You can download it free on the App Store. There's a few out there, but iMovie is probably one of the best ones, so yeah. Number three, you need to understand that there's high competition out there. Whether you're doing it as a hobby or you actually do want to grow, there's so many people out there in the same position as you and also want to succeed. So you've got to do something quite different and make your channel quite unique and different from others to obviously stand out and by doing this you've got to make sure that your content is interesting for your subscribers for your audience but also interesting for you because if you film something that you're interested in it's going to highlight through your videos and I think that's really important yeah also I'd say to film content that is trending because if you're going to be doing content that is trending your videos are going to come up in the search engine more and people will search that sort of stuff up so that's a really really good um point also to stand out and for your channel to stand out and be unique you've got to be consistent and I know I'm a hypocrite for saying this because I have not been consistent with my videos at all and I'm also by the way going to be doing this every two twice twice a week videos now so I'm going to be consistent but you've got to be consistent to grow people don't sub to your channel just to get a video once every month because it's not really I mean they might but it's not really people will sub to your channel if they want to see videos all the time new ones um, so definitely consistency is the highest key here in making a YouTube channel that you actually want to grow whereas if you're doing a channel for a hobby I wouldn't really say it's obviously you don't have to be consistent but yeah so number four is a good profile picture and a good channel name these are so important because obviously this is what people see first um, the profile picture needs to stand out, looks good, reasonably good, and a channel name is always important because that is your actual channel name. Something catchy, something, you know, standard. Like, my name obviously isn't great, it's just my name, but you could go with something a bit more. Also, add tags 
and have a good description box. Now, by adding tags, when you're uploading your video, you can choose whether to add tags, which is you just put a bunch of words that come up in your videos or are to do with your title or to do with your video. Type them all up so it's easier. It helps your video get out there. So when people type um, a channel like a video title up on the search engine your video will come up because you've added tags yeah definitely tags is a very very good way of putting your, your channel and video out there 100% I fill the tag box with a lot now I never used to but then I looked it up on the internet and I found out that that's a really good way of getting your channel out there also to have a good description box if you've ever noticed I always try and put something quite good in my description boxes I try and fill it up well because it always looks good that you've made the effort to actually type something up whether it's a little paragraph at the start explaining what, what your video is, adding your social media at the end, um, and a little message at the end, like just anything you want. I think it shows that you've made effort within that, so that's a really good point as well. And number five is that you've got to understand that your channel won't grow overnight. It won't grow like that. You've got to accept that it will be hard work and that it will definitely take a lot of um, determination and perseverance to grow or you know it, there's so many people out that I've definitely learned this everyone's in the same position they want the channel to be seen but you know it's not all about growing I also feel like if you're enjoying what you're doing you won't care about whether you're going to grow that as quickly so that makes sense number six thumbnails I think thumb huh? <laughs> I think thumbnails are quite important um obviously because that's the first thing that people see when they type it up on you know on YouTube say they type a morning routine they're gonna look at the title and thumbnail but mostly the thumbnail because if the thumbnail looks interesting your video is gonna be interested you've got to make it quite bright and not always bright but like a good photo or a little collage with like bubbly writing so that you've actually made an effort on editing it whereas if you're gonna be putting a thumbnail of just one of those thumbnails that you know the the random ones that YouTube chooses when you're when you upload your video and you haven't actually edited a good thumbnail there's going to be a difference so definitely a good thumbnail number seven is the plain be yourself but honestly this is probably the most important point along with the camera as i said earlier on like being yourself is the most biggest thing you can do if you're to be yourself then you'll shine 100 percent everyone has their own way and everyone is original themselves but if you're going to be yourself there's no one else like you out there so that's another way that you will get seen and I mean this so much just be yourself there's nothing better from it a little story when I was younger someone told me that they didn't like the way I was and that I was a bit too loud and a bit annoying all that I was like oh yeah you know I'm gonna change I'm gonna calm down and be quiet at that time I was probably about year nine and I was actually gonna change for them and just calm down this is for a boy by the way um I don't think he'll be watching my videos but I don't really care and now I think <laughs> why would I have changed what would be what would be the point in that like what would actually be the point in that so now I'm just thinking no I'll be myself I'm much happier like this being myself it's so much easier being yourself than trying to be someone else so yeah defo number eight right okay I'm kind of guilty of this and I think a lot of youtubers are at the beginning I used to do it back a few months ago probably more than that I only did it a few times but yeah um I've gained quite a few subscribers by doing this and met quite a few amazing people but at the same time it can be a downer as well it is commenting on other people's videos to get to promote your own channel now this can be okay if you're gonna get sub for sub but that person that you've got to sub to your channel might not even watch your videos you can get a lot of fake subscribers fake subscribers by doing this um, they can just be on your subscriber account but they actually won't watch your videos so what's the point with having loads of subscribers but barely no views you may as well get a good amount of subscribers that actually will watch your videos when I used to do this subs for sub I only did it, did it a few times I did get a few good subscribers by doing this I'm not gonna lie I did um, and they actually have found me but at the same time you can get a lot of people that won't actually watch your videos so I would not try and do that at all 
your channel will shine through with good progress, good like being consistent and a good content. So I would not worry about trying to promote your channel on other people's videos. Number nine, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Promotion is key. And yes, promotion is key. If you're gonna be uploading or posting your videos and um, on other social media, um, you know, put yourself out there. Say on Instagram, I do it all the time and I probably annoy people, but I can't be bothered anymore. Um, I go, new video on my YouTube channel, you should check it out once in a while. That's fine, you're promoting it and people will actually see them. That's how people see it. That's how people go onto your channel and discover it because they've seen it on other social media bases. Um, Instagram is amazing for that. Yes, you could be embarrassed to start off with, but honestly, it's not that much of a big deal. Like, if you're that, like, afraid about it, I'd definitely go and make another account maybe and upload all your updates like I have done, all your YouTube updates on that, on that account because there's another way of doing it. And then number 10, which is the last point, is you've got to accept to face haters. You will get a, a little bit of hate along the way. No one succeeds without hate. I think this is so, so important because I had hate. I had a little bit of hate. I didn't have a lot, to be honest. I was very lucky. Mostly people, you know, just trying to take the mick. Um, you will get it and no one succeeds as I said you'll just have to face it if you really like something you'll go along with your passion no matter what people think no matter what people will say so 100% just ignore haters you don't need them in your life they will go they're just jealous so yeah that is the end of the video I so so hope that you've enjoyed because I love filming this I love putting advice out there and you know stuff that I've experienced so give a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video, comment down below any suggestions for the future, anything you want. Remember to subscribe if you're new here, turn the um, post notifications bell on where you will be notified when I upload, which is fab. Um, also check my description box so all my social medias will be linked. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday, no, yes, on Wednesday with another video at 6pm. Bye!